In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make bullet holes in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to change my background color to a medium gray. There we go. And to start things off, what I'm going to do is grab our shape tool and I'm gonna make our spoke ratio let's start off drawing something about like this and we probably want to do let's do 8 let's do a spoke ratio of 0 0.6 let's do a random of 0 0.0 Seven five. There we go. And we get a shape just like this. I'm going to take this shape now and make it, well, let's say, a medium gray. And next, I'm going to draw a circle. And we'll make this just a little bit smaller. Just kind of eye in this, see where we get this here. About like that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is add a light gray stroke. And I want that stroke to be about an 8. Let's try that and see what it looks like. And now we're going to go up to our edit objects, fill and stroke dialog, stroke paint and I'm going to make that a gradient. We'll adjust our gradient. Move it down here. Do this kind of like maybe on a 45 degree angle. Just like that. And I'm going to give this about a 2 for a blur effect. That's going to simulate a uh, hole. Next, I'll take our outside light gray star shape. And we'll give this a blur effect of one, just to just to hint it just a little bit. And I'll take both of these shapes here, go to our line, and I'll select horizontal and vertical just to line it up. Now that I have that, I'll group that together. And we're going to make this just a little bit smaller for now. And we'll move this off to the side. Okay, now, now that we have a bullet hole, what can you do with a bullet hole? Well, <clears throat> typically you'd want to put that on something. So the American way of doing things is shooting stop signs. So let's make a stop sign. Take our randomize, set it to zero, corners eight. And we're going to make a polygon. I'm sorry, an octagon. There we go. Move this over here, and I think we'll change the stroke to a 10. And we'll give this a nice red shape. Okay, now we need to add some text. Make this just a little bit bigger. We'll go into our text tool. Okay, and we'll look for something. We'll use the Kartika. There we go, and we'll make it white. And stop sign text is usually skewed a little bit. About like that. I'll select both shapes. And that's the wrong dialog. We'll go to our line and distribute. We'll do vertical and horizontal. And I'll take this. 
and group it together. I guess just a little bit bigger here so you guys can see it. There we go. Nice big stop sign. Okay, now bullet hole. We're going to make this just a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to select the bullet hole with my uh, left mouse button and I'm going to hold it down. Anywhere, well, first I got to get this thing to the back. Okay, now, there we go. Now, anywhere that I want to stamp a bullet hole, what I'm going to do is uh, hold my uh, space bar down. So if I want one right there, one right there, one right there, that's a nice grouping. And we'll put a couple down here. And you got yourself a bullet hole sign. And that's basically how you do it. So thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.